What's up everybody, Zach with Half Pace Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I am loading my gear into my kayak for when I go out on overnighters. Because I've had a couple people ask me how I'm managing to fit overnight gear into a minimal outfitted 10 foot kayak. <laughs> So we all want to know what's wrong with me, right? Right. I just want to talk about some EDC today. My fire went out last night. my gear at the lake as I'm explaining this to you guys so the first thing I do is I stuff all of my I stuff my food bag all the way up into the front underneath the hall underneath the front deck I stick it all the way up into the front and then right behind my food bag I put my day pack uh, and my day pack has, you know, my possibles, my first aid, my water bottle, my water filter, the food for the day. Pelicans come with styrofoam blocks beside the seats. Uh, I took mine out. I only weigh 107 pounds, so if it adds any stability, it's not going to make a difference for me. So that allows me to have storage down into the sides back through here. And that is usually where I put my camera gear on one side, I put my little fishing tackle box on the other side. Now up in my front hatch is where I put my med kit, and that's my catheters, my urine collection bag, because I do this stuff with a spinal cord injury, so that all hangs out in the very front hatch. It's in a dry bag so that if I do get that flooded out, I don't have to worry about my medical supplies getting ruined. Okay, so we've got the food, we've got the day pack. I can usually take my hiking staff and I can put it in my hall beside my seat and it's got a nice little spot where it'll fit in there nice and snug and kind of locks in place. My rear tank well is where I put my main dry bag, which is my green 30 liter Piscifun dry bag. Uh, and I can usually fit my dry bag, my tent, and if I've got some other auxiliary bag that I need to put in the back deck, that's where I can usually fit it. Um, and that's only for overnighters. If I'm out on a day trip, I don't have half of the gear, so I've actually been using the exopod that comes with my kayak for day trips. And it works out fairly nice. So that's how I load my 10-foot Pelican. Um, here soon in the future we will be adding a rear hatch to the tank well um, so that I can utilize the space back there a lot easier and if something slides to the back of my kayak I can get it out a lot easier other than having to stand the kayak up on the nose and wait for it to all slide back down to the front because I usually stuff my cane pole my cane pole usually rides underneath my seat too. That's what I do with my kayak. It is very minimally outfitted. It, I do not have a lot of extra bungees on here or anything like that. And so far I've been able to manage fitting about four days worth of gear and food 
into my boat and, and still having just enough room to paddle to camp. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I will see you next time, and remember, find your way.